Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be revealing the N64 book magazine, so we'll get straight into it. As you can see guys, the iconic console there with the uh, controller and then a whole bunch of games that's probably going to be listed within the magazine. On the back here it's got over 60 iconic games inside, so that's probably going to be pretty cool to check out and uh, look back at and see how many that I owned back in the day and played. Alright guys, well, um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, flip the camera around, we'll get a bird's eye view, so we'll uh, flick through the the uh, magazine page by page together get a better viewing of uh, what's going on so uh, do let us know down in the comments what you think and if you haven't already do subscribe to the channel but for now we're going to conclude this part of the video okay guys so let's get straight into the uh, n64 book okay welcome to the n64 book boring information we've got a table of contents here we've got some nice imagery there from some of the games uh nintendo 64 a celebration so we've got the console N64 kid, 64-bit power. We've also got uh, the importance of silicon graphics, sticking with cartridges, information there. We've got defining multiplayer, obviously had uh, four players straight off the bat, which was uh, always good for couch co-op back in the day. We've got a few of the games here that had the uh, four player, so you got Mario Party, Smash Brothers, Rage Wars, my favourite shooter on the, the N64. Uh, we've got Mario Kart 64, Perfect Dark as well. Got the years that they were released, so pretty cool. Got the green controller there. Sticking with the green, a rare talent. So obviously Rare produced some uh, pretty good games back in the day for the N64. Uh, just talks about a couple of them. So we've got uh, Diddy Kong Racing, Jeff Force Gemini, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Banjo-Kazooie and Blast Corps. And the controller they're talking about next. So not everyone's favorite controller. I didn't mind it back in the day. Um, it worked. Uh, we've got some more games now they're going through. So we've got Ocarina of Time, 007, F-Zero, Super Mario 64. We've got, um, so they're genre defying games. We've got the best licensed games now. So. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, that was pretty good. Spent a lot of hours on that. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, WWF No Mercy, and Beetle Adventure Racing. Spent a lot of hours on uh, Beetle Adventure Racing as well, personally, back in the day. Uh, we've got some, uh, so the Eastern Giants, so um, International Superstar Soccer 98. Personally preferred that over FIFA. Uh, got a few other games. Hybrid Heaven was one of my favorites as well. That's a hidden gem, in my opinion, guys. Check that one out if you can. Missile Ninja 2 as well, another hidden gem. I did enjoy that one as well. We've got some Pokemon stuff now. So we had Pokemon Snap. Obviously, they just released that now on the uh, Nintendo Switch. Pokemon Stadiums were cool. Be cool to get another one of those games, I reckon, um, for uh, all current or all Pokemon in general. Um, connect it up to Pokemon Home, perhaps, and um, send all your Pokemon into battle. Puzzle League. Okay, games playing with power. So they released the expansion for the uh, unit that uh, you could um, enhance your games. So you got Turok 2, Seas of Evil, Donkey Kong 64, that came with it. Uh, from memory, Hydra Thunder, Majora's Mask, Starcraft 64, worth a pretty penny if you got that one nowadays. The three out of those I played was Turok 2, Donkey Kong, and Majora's Mask. Now, a name of quality, so we've got Doom 64, Body Harvest, Ready to Rumble Boxing, and Micro Machine 64. Turbo played a lot of Micro Machines back in the day as well. Quite fun. Critical acclaim now, so we've got Turok Donald Sander, very good shooter, in my opinion. Um, Stream G2, they're quite fun as well, kind of like uh, bikes, um, version of F-Zero. South Park then, and Shadow Man. And what else we got? We've got Glover, N64's Legacy. So you've got Star Fox Adventures, which obviously moved over to the GameCube. Resident Evil Zero, again, GameCube. Cubivore, don't remember that one. Eternal Darkness, again, moved over to the uh, GameCube. All right, moving along. Perfect 10 games, so these must have been games that they gave 10 out of 10s for. So we've got Goldeneye, Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, Lilac Wars, F-Zero X, Banjo-Kazooie, Rave Race 64, 
Super Smash Brothers, Blast Corpse, and Sin and Punishment. And the rest, so... Looks like we're going to be looking at Super Mario 64, Strange New Worlds. We've got Super International Star Soccer now. We've got some Ocarina of Time information. Pilot Wing 64, another good game. F Zero, another great game. Beetle Adventure Racing mentioned earlier. Operation Windback, never played that one personally. Uh, and same with Rocket. Played Mischief Makers, did enjoy that one. And didn't play any of the rest. Goldeneye up next. Groundbreaking for its time. Pokemon Snap. Rare ruled N64, so a bit of an in-depth now into Rare. Which is pretty cool insight. Obviously, if you've got a uh, Xbox, you can play the Rare Replay. You've got most of these uh, games on there, except for the uh, Nintendo exclusive ones or character ones, Nintendo IP ones. There's a whole range of games, which is when they came out. Stuff. Rares competitors. Mario Kart 64 is up next. Jet Force Gemini. This is a rare game, so I'm not sure why it wasn't in the rare segment. But um, sure, why not? Still a good game. Played it on um, Rare Replay recently. Nintendo 64 controller. So we're going into a bit more in-depth on that one. Majora's Mask, my favourite out of uh, Majora's Mask or Ocarina. We've got uh, top 25 Nintendo 64 games. So here we go. Jet Force Gemini, uh, International Superstar Soccer, Excite Bike, Beetle Adventure Racing, We've got Diddy Kong Racing, uh, Mystical Ninja, Super Smash Brothers, Paper Mario, Pokemon Snap, 1080 Snowboarding. And got a few down, quick ones, Conkers, Bad Fur Day, Lilac Wars, WWF, Pilot Wings, Perfect Dark. Okay, top 10 now. Blast Corps, another good one from Rare. Banjo-Kazooie, again, from Rare. So, yeah, quite a few of Rare games in the top 25. We've got Sin and Punishment next, Wave Race, uh, F-Zero X, Mario Kart 64, Majora's Mask. We've got Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64. So we're having a look at Sin and Punishment next. We've got Banjo-Kazooie up next. Nice in-game imagery captured for these um, magazine. Wave Race next. Doesn't look too good all blown up like that though. Okay, Turok next. Lilac Wars or Star Fox, depending where what region you're in. Excite Bike 64. Pokemon Stadium. Shadow Man's up next. We've got um, more Shadow Man. Bit of an in depth there. Superman 64. Surprising that this one uh, made it. Uh, it didn't get highly. Reviewed back in the day, Super Smash Brothers, where it all began. Perfect Dark, another rare game. Diddy Kong Racing, rare game. Fantastic Racer. I'm actually hoping they make uh, Mario Kart 9 as a Diddy Kong Racing style game. We'll see if that ever comes. If not 9, maybe 10. Alright, uh, the Collector's Guide now. Let's have a look what they got here. So like a few rare pieces, I guess. Um, got Clay Fighters there, the Director's Cut, which was, uh, I think it was a Blockbuster exclusive. Back in the day, you got the DD Drive, which is Japan only. Um, K 
keyboard. Haven't seen the keyboard before. Seen the um, quality, quality of life attachment. Obviously the, um, the pack there for Game Boy games. Rumble packs, memory cards. Not too sure what that does. Number seven, import adapter. So there you go. Didn't, didn't know that was a thing, but that'd be pretty cool to have. If you want to import some games. Top five games to play. So Mario 64, Ocarina, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, 007. Five top import games. So that's pretty cool. Um, you got uh, Tyson Puzzle, Ogre Battle 64, Harvest Moon 64, Bokutetsu, Tsumu. Okay. Top five rarest power games. This is pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look. Air Borders. Didn't know that was rare. Hercules. There you go. Uh, Major League Baseball. Snowball Kids. I knew that one was one. And Starcraft was one. That's a um, very cool box set from back in the day. Wouldn't be too many of those uh, kicking around still. Wouldn't want to know the price either. So we've got a checklist here of... Uh, Collector's Guide. If you want to, if you're a collector, got uh, Castlevania on the last page. Subscription, and that's our magazine, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we're doing the next giveaway. So do subscribe if you're running for that, and we'll catch you next time.